Hey, Scorpio, it's Jackie from Sacred Journeys, and check it out. It's already time to do the weekend. It's um, Wednesday, and so I want to go ahead and start doing the weekend readings for the weekend of May. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. May 27th, 26th, 27th, and 28th. I'm sorry. I should know that. 26th, 27th, 28th, and last weekend of May. I think it's actually... Oh my gosh, it's actually Memorial Day. Memorial Day weekend. Yeah, okay. So let's see what the weekend's going to bring for us, Scorpio. Let's see what the cards want to show, show us. And the wind here in Maui is really whipping up. So who knows, the wind may have some uh, interesting contributions to us as well. So let's see what's going on for Scorpio this weekend. So angels, what do you want to show Scorpio? What would you like to show Scorpio for this coming weekend? Um, and, you know, I'm working with the angels. Okay, so this one feels like she wants to come out. Oh, the two of air, talking about making a choice or coming, having a standstill with someone or having to make a choice. So that would be this weekend, Scorpio. What is it that you're trying to choose? You have all the information that you need to make this decision, Scorpio. That's another good question. It's really windy out here, so I may go inside. Oh, wow, the three of water. Three of water talks about having uh, celebrations, a wedding, childbirth, um, a, you know, a birth announcement, uh, birthdays, celebrations. And actually, it is the weekend of Memorial Day, so yeah. We're going to be celebrating people that we love that are no longer with us in the body. So we could even take that as an opportunity to get together with those that we love to honor those that have gone before us. Um, so, yeah, so maybe you have a choice to make regarding that three of cups. Maybe you, maybe you need to ask yourself, do I want to go to someone's memorial or uh, a gathering, whatever that may be. It may be difficult, you know, it may be something that really still hurts your heart, but yeah, it's always nice to remember those who've passed on before us, transitioned. And third card for us, Scorpio, is the Ten of Fire, talking about too much work. Too much work, something's completed, this could actually be, huh, wow, okay, this could actually be a sign of you've been having to choose between something that has to do with the Three of Cups, family, children, siblings, um, parents. So you've been having to choose. It, it almost feels like it's over, whatever you've been struggling with. Because to me, this is also like a card of struggling trying to figure something out, trying to do what the right thing, but you're not sure what the right thing is, so you're kind of stuck in a, in a decision you're not sure. And so maybe this weekend will come to pass where your struggling is no more. You'll either get the revelation that you need, or um, you'll get the information that you needed, like as far as Either you receive information or you just have an epiphany about something where the struggle is over. You don't even have that that struggle going on anymore. You just choose what you choose. And you don't feel bad. You don't feel guilty. You know, this feels to me like if you're struggling about a choice that has to do with, like, the celebrations, you don't have to struggle anymore. You're going to come to a, a conclusion not in a bad way, but like you're just going to become settled about something because the hard work is over. So the hard work is over in a good way, though. It feels like you don't have to struggle anymore. It's going to be, it's a done deal. Whatever that is, it's a done deal. You don't have to worry anymore. You don't have to, uh, it, like it's a stalemate. This is also could be a stalemate. So Okay, so this is another way you could read this, guys, is if you have been in a stalemate with someone, I mean, that happens, right? And so this weekend especially is going to be a Memorial Day weekend. It's a huge weekend, especially in the States. Um, if you're listening in somewhere else, you, you may not be familiar with this weekend, but 
it's a long weekend. Everybody takes Monday off or Friday. It's a, usually a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. You know, it depends on their work. But And everybody just goes somewhere. They, they go. They travel. They don't hang out unless they're hanging out with friends and family. And it's a big party day, and it's a big remembering of who who's passed on right so it's a big celebration a big gathering of people but as we know every time there's a big gathering of people especially family uh there could be some difficult things as well it's nice to see everybody but there could be some difficulties that you haven't processed and so this is also making me feel like uh the stalemate that you may have with someone the difficulty that you may have had with someone in the past is over. So this is a nice, that's a nice feeling that you can come together this weekend and not worry about the past. It's over. You know what I mean? Especially on a day like Memorial Day, like you're remembering things. Things are temporal, right? We're only in this body a short while. So if you and someone else have been bickering about something that's just kind of almost petty, you know, families can do that. Families can get ridiculous about stupid shit. <laughs> so I'm just saying, maybe this weekend it's a great opportunity to just say, you know what, let's not worry about that anymore because that's so in the past, it's not even worth talking about anymore. So that way you can come together with the true celebration, with honoring each other, honoring those who've been lost, who've fallen, and uh, just, yeah, start fresh. Have a beautiful weekend with those that you love, those that you care about. No more stalemate. And then you're going to choose whatever you choose and just look for a great weekend, okay? Just look for a great weekend. Send out those positive energies because something is not, it's just not happening anymore. It's dead. Ten, ten of fire, it's over. It was too much work, but you know, let it go. It's completion. It was too much work. And if you're stressed out about something, ask for help. But uh, yeah, it just feels like it's time to move on and receive love and grace and give love and grace and assistance where it's necessary. And, and kind of like strive to live happily ever after. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I'm getting for us, Scorpio, is like, enjoy the day, make our choice, let go of any grudges, it's over, whatever that was, it was over, or something that you're thinking about still, it's just too much work, it's just too much stress, let it, let it go, right, just let it go, and see what wants to come your way, but let celebration and joy reign this weekend, all right, my friends, well, I'll talk to you later, have a beautiful day. Bye.